Hi guys, welcome to day 11 of Quiltmas. I hope you're enjoying the series so far and I hope you enjoy today's video. Be sure and stick around to the end for my reaction to the Missouri Star Countdown to Christmas box. It's bound to be interesting, but before that, let's just get on with the show. Today, I want to give you some quick color tips. For many, choosing colors is one of the most wrought parts of the quilting process, but it doesn't have to be. Many default to using a bundle or collections because everything is matched and it's easy. It's guaranteed. What happens if you don't have a bundle or just want to do your own thing? Today, I'm giving you three cheat codes or training tools to get you started building your color confidence. Cheat code number one, the selvage and the screen sequence. So here's the situation. You have this beautiful piece of fabric. You're dying to use a feature fabric and you're not sure what will go with it. Check out the selvage. Those cute little dots, sometimes they're designs or little shapes, those are your training wheels. What those are, are the screen sequence registrations for the printing process. Each one of these little color patches was a separate screen and color that was printed onto these, this fabric. These are the colors that are guaranteed to match your featured fabric. So you can pull other prints and blenders according to these little swatches and you're guaranteed to match. So here we go. I started, number one is black, but guys, the black is very, very minimal, so I just disregarded it. So I started with number two. And then number three, four, five. I have a teeny bit of number six. Seven. See my cheat codes. <laughs> Seven. Eight's kind of a wild card, but that can work too. Nine. See nine here and nine here. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, excuse me, 13, 14, got those out of order, and 15. All right, now I've covered up my whole print. Give me a minute. So we have this beautiful array of fabric. These colors are guaranteed to match your featured fabric. So you can pull other prints and blenders according to these swatches and it will automatically work. For even more dynamic interest, try getting kind of close to matching, but not exactly matching. And as you look at your feature fabric, pay attention to your proportion of color. If there is chartreuse on the selvage, or this bright orange, for example, but there's only a small portion in the actual print, you can use that guide to proportion in your quilt project as well. Or you might want to flip the script and invert the proportions. Play with it and see what appeals to your eye. As a wild card, sometimes you'll find a portion of your fabric where the artist has played with transparency. This color, this burnt orange brown color, is not on the selvage. It's not here at all. But where a pink has overlied, or an orange has overlied this chartreuse yellow, you end up with this beautiful burnt orange color. Now, speaking of proportion, this only occurs in this bird. But it's a really interesting pop of color and a really interesting, interesting dynamic that can just give your quilt zing and sparkle when used just a little bit. Speaking of that feature fabric, lesson number two. 
you have this beautiful fabric, but maybe it's too large scale for the pattern that you've chosen, or maybe it's precious and you don't want to cut it. No worries. Use the same process of matching to the selvage, but now take this fabric away. Don't use it at all. You have an inspired color palette that you love and you already know works because it works. Voila! Instant color confidence. Have you seen on Instagram or Facebook those post pictures that should be quilts? They're gorgeous. And I take a lot of photographs, I'm sure we all do, of color combinations that inspire me. But when Instagram served me an ad a few months ago, an ad for these, I was like, here, take my money. And I jumped over to the site and immediately bought them. Both of them. <laughs> these are called color cubes. And they're by Sarah, Sarah Renee Clark. What she's done is take taken those inspirational photographs and created color palettes from them. Instant cheat codes. The front of the card is the photograph with the color breakdown, the basic color palette. And when you flip it over, the colors are named and the hex codes are there for internet usage and there's a gradient breakdown. These are so much fun to play with. Pull them and mix and match cards and just go to town. My favorite thing about these cards as opposed to a color wheel based product is they start with something concrete that's easy to understand, a photograph. You can sort through the cards and you don't have to know any technical information about color theory, complements, split complements, saturation. You can work entirely by feel, so to speak. Choose one that appeals to you and go from there. Now I'm going to show you some examples of fabric pulls based on the color cube cards. Anna pulled the card and Anna pulled the fabrics. So let me show you. Easy. So easy. Took them all of about five minutes to pull together a beautiful fabric color palette. And like I say, like I said before, pay attention to proportion and how it works in the photograph. What draws your eye? So in this photograph, we have mostly these blues and purples with touches of these teals. So what that looks like, what that might look like in your quilt might be more like this where you've got more of these colors dominating and just a few sparks of this one. One more. Here's our card. And these cards are all numbered. This one goes this way, excuse me. Here's our card. These cards are all numbered so you can always get them back in the right order in the box if that is of concern to you. Here's our card. Here are our fabrics. It could not be easier. There again, pay attention to proportion of your color within the photograph. So there's just a little bit of green. There's a lot of this vibrant yellow. A touch of the brown and a touch of the orange. And what that might look like in your quilt. Might be more like this. These are really awesome tools. And even if I never use them directly, Looking at them and studying them gives me inspiration and new ideas for color combinations I might not consider. If you want to use them as a starting point, again, pay attention to proportion of color within the photograph and what makes the colors work together. I find these little cards infinitely useful and mesmerizing. 
There's a link below. It's not affiliated or sponsored or anything like that. Sarah Renee Clark has no idea who I am. I just love her product and want to share it with you. Color Confidence is built one quilt at a time. I hope these methods and tools are just the support you need to give you the confidence to begin working beyond the bundle. Up now is the Day 11 box opening and I'll be right back to see us out. Quilty Advent Box Day 11. Felt Bird Kit. Oh, wool felt bird embroidery kit and a pattern that goes with it. Okay, that's sweet and that's really, I mean, that's nice. I like an ornament, a little tiny project you can make and take with you. I happen to like embroidery. You know red is my favorite color and it speaks to Jenny's Scan Scandinavian heritage. Very sweet. And that looks like they're pre-cut. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Yeah, they're pre-cut, so all I have to do is punch it out and sew. That I really like. Day 11. Ornament kit. Thanks again for joining me today. Day 11 of Quiltmas. I'm having a great time, and I am curious. How color confident are you? Where does your color inspiration come from, and will you try one of these methods? Let me know in the comments, and while you're down there, click the buttons, like, subscribe, share, and whether you're a color pro or want more color confidence, don't forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.